All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the Flycast emulator on a Nintendo Switch. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is to play the Sega Dreamcast games. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So for the first link, it's going to be for my page. So just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link, which is going to be for the Flycast emulator download page. Now the first thing you need to do is to create a Flycast folder with the NRO file. Then you're going to need to create a BIOS folder with the Sega Dreamcast BIOS files. Next, you're going to need to create a games folder with games in .cdi or .gdi formats. So now for the Flycast emulator download page, you're going to scroll down on the page until you find the assets section. You are going to download the Flycast 2.5.nro file. So now this is going to be the Flycast emulator folder. This is going to have a switch folder with the Flycast.nro file. Now you're going to take your Sega Dreamcast ROMs folder and you're going to place it into the emulator folder just like that. And now you're going to take your uh, BIOS folder also into the emulator folder just like that. Now all your files are going to be set up. Now you're going to take the switch folder and you're going to copy it onto the root of your Nintendo Switch's SD card. So that's basically it on the computer. Now we're going to get over on the Nintendo Switch uh, and I'm going to show you how to set up the emulator. All right, guys, now over on the switch. So first thing we're going to do, we are going to check if the NRO was installed. So go into the album. Uh, you are going to scroll over until you find the Flycast NRO. So there it is. It was installed successfully. Now we're going to hit the home button. We're going to need to run this in the uh, full RAM mode. So to do that, you're going to hold the R button while loading a game or an app, just like that. Now the switch is running in full RAM mode. Now we're going to load the emulator. So scroll over until you find the Flycast emulator. Start it with A. Now my game is already loaded. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Uh, you're going to go into settings by pressing B. Uh, so in the under the general settings. So language, English, uh, broadcast, NTSC, region, USA. Cable, make sure you change it to VGA. Now you're going to add your ROMs folder. So add. Now you're going to find your Switch folder. You're going to look for your Flycast folder. And then Dreamcast ROMs. You're going to select the folder. So select current folder. There you go. So all your games are all set up. Um, everything else is set up under the general tab we're going to go over to controls um, if you guys want to map out any of the buttons you can but everything else is pretty much set up now we're going to go to video uh, so under rendering options uh, you can upscale the resolution the max you can do is 1706 by 960 um, if you go any higher you're going to have issues so just keep that in mind. Uh, scroll down to aspect ratio. You're going to select widescreen. And then widescreen game cheats. Uh, make sure that the automatic frame skipping is disabled. And then the frame skipping is set at zero. Now we're going to go back up. Uh, so audio is going to be set up. Network is going to be set up. Now under the advanced tab. The CPU mode, you're going to select the Dynarec and then make sure that you have the HLE BIO selected. Um, everything else is set up. So we're going to go to Done. Uh, now your games will populate. Now we can load the games. So I'm going to load a couple of games just to show you. So we're going to start off with Sonic Adventure. Press B to load it. It should load automatically.
Um, if I find a compatibility list, um, I will put it in the pin comment as well. Now, if you want to back out of the game, you're going to hit the minus button. It's going to take you into this menu. Now you can resume the game. Uh, you can add cheats. You can change the settings just for the game. You can do save state. Uh, so we're going to close the game. We're going to add one more game. So Daytona USA. So I am using both the CDI and GDI formats. Um, they both seem to work uh, pretty much the same. So this is going to be totally up to you what you want to use. So there you go guys, that's how you set up the uh, Flycast emulator on a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.